Hello everyone and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today, well, we're going a little bit in the future. I know recently there's been a lot of talk about Lightfall and the community is in a kind of disarray right now. But I want to focus on the future of this franchise and what is possibly the most important expansion Bungie has ever released for Destiny. Now you might be sitting there saying, well, why is that? Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that if this expansion isn't the greatest one ever, that Destiny is done, because that's not how this works. I mean, I feel like for the past nine years, that's been said about every major expansion. But I will say that because Lightfall was so well, badly received, and not well received, but badly received, it kind of puts a lot of pressure on Final Shape to produce. And I know there's not a lot of people who take breaks from Destiny, but there are some people who only play the major expansions. They don't play the seasons in between, and you have to, you don't have to cater to those people. But I can tell you that two mediocre expansions in a row means that some people might not come back. That's not everyone, but some people. And even for the top 1% of players, who are the people who are playing like, 10 hours a week even now you know maybe that's diminished to like a few hours a week because we're in a content drought right now <clears throat> but those people the expectations for them again are going to be through the roof and i can't tell you how difficult it is for developers to live up to those expectations and i i'm trying i've always tried to temper my expectations with each dlc but it never works. And you can tell with Lightfall because of how narratively lacking it was. The expectations were pretty high. And because the narrative was so bad, again, the reviews and the reactions were honestly as they should be. They were not great. <laughs> and there's a reason for that because Bungie failed as a developer to lay out the story in a cohesive and coherent manner, right? You know, I, I would love to beat up on Lightfall more, but that's real. That's it. The final shape has, simply just has to be better than Lightfall in every way possible. That being said, you know, fixing Lightfall wasn't that hard. You just had to take the cutscene that we got in Season of the Deep and put it in Lightfall. That that literally would fix Lightfall's problems. But that's maybe a different discussion. And I think this almost goes without saying, every good story has a plot twist. And Lightfall was way too predictable. And the reason why I bring this up is because Ronin, or I keep saying Ronin, but Rohan, excuse me, it was very, very, very obvious that he was going to be the grizzled veteran who sacrifices himself so that Nimbus can live on. We can't have obvious things like that, obvious cliches in Final Shape. And, you know, I know something a lot of people didn't see coming was that Cade 6 is back and will presumably play a large role in the Final Shape. Not many people saw that coming. I think it's kind of obvious that it, it might be a cash grab to bring original fans back for someone like Cade, but who knows, Bungie has done a decent job at incorporating things like, you know, the revival of characters thought to be dead into the lore. I mean, look at Sate 14, he was thought to be long gone, but now he's an integral part of D2's story. So, you know, that, that could also be said for Asher Mir during the... Avalon stuff and Sloan during this season, right? And a lot of people thought she was going to be dead. And, you know, who knows? Maybe next season or some later season, it'll be about Brother Vance and how he managed to survive the witness taking Mercury. So, you know, well, again, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But I really think the twists and turns need to be more dramatic. And not only that, they need to be more out of left field than we've ever seen and 
you know, this isn't a requirement. This is just something I think that would make the story more interesting. Uh, I'm not saying it has to be like an Eren Jaeger Attack on Titan S thing where he's literally, you know, he's the protagonist of the series, but he actually turns out to be the antagonist of this. I mean, it, it's a weird thing. But I mean, come, come on. Like, everyone knew Rohan was going to sacrifice himself. Like, no, Rohan, no. Like, we, no, Rohan, no. Like, we all knew it. It was coming. And it was kind of sad. I've always, I've voiced this opinion. It would have been fun to see Rohan grow as a character for a year and then kill him off in Final Shape. Because then we have time to grow with this character. We have time to attach to him. Now, I feel like that might be what happens with Nimbus at this point. Because we're getting to know them not only through the Lightfall campaign, but also through the seasonal quest via the Veil that has dropped this season with Osiris. Now, they're just like one-liners each week, which again, it's another no-no, Bungie. I really wish you'd just release that whole thing at once. But here we are. So again, we're getting to know Nimbus, and, you know, I feel like it might eventually lead to them dying at some point. Uh, I don't know what year Nimbus is in, in terms of uh, his, or sorry, their um, lifespan as a Cloud Strider. I know very, very um, short into their lifespan, which is only 10 years, which is another attack on Titan thing, you know, once you become a Titan you only have a limited amount of time so so we know eventually nimbus will die we just don't know when so uh, that's something to keep in the back of your minds uh, as well obviously we know zivu arath will play some kind of role whether or not zivu will be the campaign boss of the final shape or not who knows there's a very real chance that the witness is the boss of everything in the final shape we know the witness has multiple forms one that made callus quite literally poo poo in his pants so again that's a very interesting uh, concept so again I, I really think the pressure for final shape is, is there i think the the best way bungie can take this pressure off uh their largest most you know the penultimate dlc of destiny's light and dark saga is to make sure that the seasonal story in between now and then helps to provide context for what's going to happen and that's what the witch queen you know the witch queen before Layfall, right did a really good job of that in season of the lost which the longest season in destiny's history it did a decent job of setting up the removal or the exorcism of Savathun's worm and it was a very nice build up to that moment and I feel like a lot of people at that point knew that Osiris was the most obvious candidate to be Savathun I mean he was literally out of the, the last city he had his ghost killed by Zivu Arath I mean what how could it not be more perfect for Savathun to have an opportunity to become Osiris so Again, the setup was, was better in Witch Queen, and again, Witch Queen was just a better DLC. Let's let's just be honest. I think now that we've had the build-up for the Witness, we finally know what they are, and you know, we're we're gonna figure out how to get into the Traveler Ussie, as I like to call it. And there's plenty of interesting lore things to think about. How the entrance of the Traveler Ossi looks like the portal that leads into the Infinite Forest. Uh, is that a Quinky Dink? Who knows? But again, for a lot of this, we'll just have to wait. I just hope, again, I just really hope Final Shape doesn't drown in the expectations that Lightfall was supposed to have. But then again, this could be a very calculated thing by Bungie. You release Lightfall and it's somewhat half-baked narrative sh lacking state and you whip out final shape uh, a year later and it turns out to be the best narratively written stuff in destiny's history and i feel like this goes for a lot of things right lightfall was a good dlc if you take out the narrative the gameplay was great the environment is great 
the characters were, were pretty good. I think a lot of people were annoyed with Osiris. I liked the kind of action movie take they, they had with with Lightfall, and it seems as though maybe they'll continue to do this kind of themes with expansions, like they have with seasons. You know, Witch Queen was like a detective thing. Lightfall was an 80s action throwback movie, essentially. So, Final Shape, I don't know, maybe it'll be a full-blown, like, action movie, a modern one, like Transformers, I don't know. Put your thoughts below on what the Final Shape's theme might be. Maybe Bungie will just go back to its roots and that, uh, who knows. But regardless, we have a long time until Final Shape. The showcase is about two months away. That's going to be an exciting time. But until then, let me know what you guys think about the weight of the Final Shape and how Bungie can try to soften that or lessen it, if you will. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I know about 90 plus percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so it'd be appreciated a lot if you could. Like the video if you enjoyed the content, and we'll see you next time.